I want to do a video explaining my experience with replacing a PTO pump on a John Deere Model 60 made in 1956. The loader on it is a do-all loader, D-U-A-L, I think also took over by Woods Company. There's no um, model number that can be found, so I couldn't cross-reference to how many gallons per minute. And my first question was, just how big of a pump do you need? I found some references online saying maybe 20, 22 gallons per minute. What I discovered was that um, all the pumps have the same amount of lifting capacity, it's just the speed with which they lift. So I ended up picking a 17.5 gallon per minute pump. Now there's a lot of pumps out there, the Prince Company is considered one of the best. Uh, they were about $800 for a comparable pump. I chose one made by Vivor, also called Best Auto. It was only $230, I think was shipping included. Uh, it's a little big, it didn't let me put my PTO uh, safety on. Uh, right here is the pump that uh, came off. You can see that there was an extender on it that to the top left uh, that would have went on the PTO, so it took it away from the PTO cover. The PTO cover is right underneath. Uh, one thing to watch for when you, when you buy your pump and, and when you install it is what kind of fittings you need. Now the old pump came out uh, downward so I had to take and put a right angle downward so you didn't have too much spin on it. Uh, the old pump also had a torque bar. This is the torque bar and the torque bars if you have to buy one they're really quite expensive and it doesn't make a lot of sense because they're just a piece of metal. I was able to take the torque bar off the old one, put a uh, extra hole in it and it works just fine. And then I, I fixed it. Now with a John Deere Model 60, the uh, PTO goes clockwise. As I'm looking at it now, and you can see the arrow right in the, well maybe a can't. Uh, uh, there's an arrow showing right here, showing you have to go clockwise. And as with these tractors, they go clockwise. So the torque bar had to be fitted with a chain to the inside of the draw bar so it wouldn't flip in circles. Um, the torque bars are really quite expensive compared to the cost of a pump. With a pump being 230 and a torque bar 50, 60, maybe 70 dollars, uh, it doesn't make sense. So anyway, the, the fittings, uh, I didn't have to change pipes, I just had to buy a 7 dollar fitting uh, that would fit at a right angle and I'm off to the market. Now with respect to the number of gallons per minute, uh, I was shocked at how fast 17 gallons per minute pushes. This old pump was so worn out that it was very slow. I think I would have been happier with a 12 gallon per minute uh, pump rather than have so much speed because it almost goes too fast for the type of machine it is. Um, so if you have one of these old loaders, uh, I would err on the side of going a little smaller on the pump and uh, because I don't think you need quite so much. I have no idea about the longevity of the Vivor, uh, also Best Auto. Uh, I'd only use these things for a few hours every month, so I think this was very cost effective to go with one for $230. Uh, putting it on is simple, you just put it over the drive shaft, fix your torque bar, and then reattach the outflow hose which has the two pipe clamps on it, and the, uh, there's the outflow, and uh, there's the pressure side. So it didn't, it didn't take much. It was just a matter of minutes to get the whole thing done. But like I said, my uh, PTO cover is right there and I'm not able to get it back on because it's a little big. But it covers the whole PTO, so it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Uh, you don't have anything there to really get caught on. And that's what I wanted to tell you. I put a video up asking for how big of a pump, what I should do, and I didn't get any responses. So I'm putting this up for people who are looking to try to figure out how many gallon per minute and what to do with respect to a, a PTO pump for an old Dewall or Woods loader. Um, please like and subscribe. Good luck with your old tractor.